This JT News update is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, DJ Cell, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, Simply Secured, Gumption's Land and the Sea Tours, and Envisa Style Nail Salon, Spa, and Barbershop. Finally, Bars and nightclubs now have the green light to resume operations following inspections. This is according to the Minister for Health and Social Development, Honorable Carvin Malone, moments ago, while informing the territory also that effective October 8, the new curfew hours are from midnight to 5 a.m. for 14 days. He also told the territory that there is no active COVID-19 case within the British Virgin Islands. As we work to safely lift restrictions, and expand the internal reopening process in preparation for a wider opening on December 1st. At a meeting held earlier today, Cabinet advised the National Security Council to instruct the Attorney General to draft a new curfew order to impose a new curfew from 12 a.m. midnight to 5 a.m. daily for a period of 14 days from the 8th of October 2020 to the 22nd of October 2020. This new curfew will be subject to the requirements in Suppression Order Number 8, Statutory Instrument Number 112. Cabinet decided to allow all businesses to reopen, inclusive of bars and nightclubs, provided that those businesses pass inspection by the social distancing monitoring protocols and as certified by the Environmental Health Division in order to operate their businesses. Bars and nightclub owners are currently in conversation with the department and a date and time for inspections would be agreed. Cabinet decided to continue the restriction of the movement of vessels in territorial waters as provided in curfew order number 33, statutory instrument number 104, inclusive of the requirement that persons must be off the water from 6 p.m. The exclusion zone at the border area remains in place and commercial ferries are allowed to operate up until curfew time. Cabinet decided to permit credentialed cruise liners to make technical calls or warm, up, or warm layups to the territory, subject to compliance with the protocols established by the BVI Ports Authority and endorsed by the Health Emergency Operating Center. Cabinet decided to allow freight carriers and charter companies traveling between the British and United States Virgin Islands to operate subject to strict adherence to the established COVID-19 suppression measures and biweekly COVID-19 analysis. As we continue on our mission to safely reopen our society, open our economy, and open our borders in this COVID-19 environment, I am also pleased, as previously mentioned, to report that all 43 members of the Social Distancing Monitoring Task Force operating within the Environmental Health Division has now been trained, equipped, commissioned, and deployed to perform the, the very, this very important duty of educating, monitoring, and enforcement of the public health measures alongside the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force. Simply put, Effective protective measures such as physical distancing, hand washing, sanitization, and wearing of face covering while in public places apply to individuals, businesses, and other establishments, and, the, and there are legal penalties in place to promote full compliance. As I close, let me again emphasize the need to take personal responsibility and hold each other accountable for our collective safety and protection. With this JTV News update, Kathy Richards. The nice thing about the National Bank is that they are actually true to their concept of being a national bank in terms of understanding the needs of all islands. 
They understood what we needed at New Horizon Ferry Services in expanding our offerings to improve shipping across our island. Because we have been in this business now for many years and established a good relationship with the bank, they saw our track record and they understood what we needed to expand our business and together we have formed a great partnership that is helping our business to grow. Paradise means being able to expand our business at the right time. National Bank of the Virgin Islands, the official bank of paradise. Our reliance on digital systems has opened new vulnerabilities to sophisticated cyber attacks. Simply Secure's security management solution helps overcome these challenges. Our service includes 24-7, 360-degree protection for all computers and servers with automatic restoration, security audits, and penetration testing. Don't wait for disaster to strike. Contact us at info at